depends on the people who are oppressing them and the people who are leaving them under siege. You know, life in Gaza is unbearable. So of course, of course, you would um, try to resist because really the people in Gaza have nothing left to lose in, in many sense. Um, and it, it's like uh, what MLK says about, you know, riots uh, when he was questioned about um, the uh, riots in this, you know, southern states of the U.S. during the Jim Crow era. He was like, won't you condemn the violence that, you know, African-Americans are committing uh, during these riots? And he said, you know, I can't condemn them because riots are um, the voice of the unheard. Um, the only way that Palestinians uh, can often, you know, try and express themselves is through those avenues because they're absolutely desperate. And of course, you know, like you said, um, it's unfortunate that Israeli civilians sometimes, you know, are are killed as well. Uh, of course, nobody wants are, any civilian to, to die. Um, just put it out there as a Palestinian, yeah. say it to the whole world, we don't want to kill Israelis. We don't want to kill Jewish people. We don't want to destroy. Yeah. We don't want to throw them back in the sea. Even though some Palestinians would disagree with me, same thing like a lot of Israelis are, I think up to like 30, 40% will disagree with me. It's like, no, it's our land. You can go to Jordan. You can go to Egypt. There's 20 other Arab states. We only have one state. Right. Yeah, it is true. But that, that doesn't mean that I just have to leave just because there's another country next to me that speaks the same language. That's the same way that you're yeah, telling exactly. uh, um, Ukrainians, oh, by the way, you can go to uh, Belarus yeah. or you can go to um, uh, uh, Lithuania and give us this land because you know, it's a part of our land. We speak Russian in this part of the country we need it. That's just not how it works. It's it's 2022, and, 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 and it's really sad to see that. Another point I want to bring up to the world is my, one of my personal experiences. Um, majority of IDF soldiers are under 22 years old. Yeah, it, for who, it's, uh, exactly. For those who don't Every, know, it's, something it's that, mandatory uh, service. I'll just say, yeah, it's mandatory service, conscription, um, every every Israeli citizen has to serve in the military yes. for at least two years at the age of 18. So, um, so unless they go to up, university. Or actually, so I think it's before in, they go to university. Exactly. Me growing up, we didn't have any Palestinian police force, any some sort of any organization that police the streets, rule the streets. There's no courts till I was like what, 15, 16. So me growing yeah. up on a day-to-day -day basis, even till I was 20, any uh, police force we interact with was mostly is the IDF Israeli um, army. Even on checkpoints between uh, between cities, um, I got beat up twice by 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 Israeli by IDF force just because I have the personality of just I can't take shit from nobody, you know. So if you treat me a certain type of way, I'm gonna give you the same energy back. And I got beat up twice just be and and nobody cares. You can't file a complaint. You can go process, uh, uh, press charges. If I get arrested as a civilian, I'll go to the um, military court. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and these things on a day-to-day -day basis leave hate inside us. If, if, I'm, if I'm in my eighth grade and I've already lost 14 people in my class, how do you think I'm going to feel when I see an Israeli soldier at a checkpoint in front of my town? I'm not going to yeah. be happy to see him. Yeah, exactly. Um, real quick, I just want to say for everybody saying have uh, an Israeli on the live, I I did the person before uh, my friend here was Israeli. Um, I've already had two Israelis on the live, so we're just taking it in turns, guys. Okay, so calm down. Um, I'll, I'll invite another person onto live in a few minutes. Um, but yeah, we're we are you know we're discussing here, so. The, the main thing here is I'm trying to spread awareness about what's going on in Palestine. So, of course, it makes sense to have Palestinians uh, speak their sp perspective, okay? And, and that's where all the hate comes from. That's mm -hmm. where all the animosity between both sides come from. It's, it's wrong on both sides, but the excessive amount of power and force that the IDF have towards the public, towards the normal Palestinian citizens, yeah. is crazy. I come from a family that... We don't have any terrorists in my family. Um, um, you know, I was fortunate enough that my dad lived in the U.S. for years, so we were able to migrate to the United States when I was older. 
Uh, but a yeah. lot of my friends are still stuck in very bad predicaments. And, and, and I can only imagine Gaza because it's 10 times more wor worse. So you yeah. don't really, it's not that I'm justifying the violence, but what are you going to do? Put yourself in, in, in their shoes. You've been to Palestine. You've been to West Bank. Put yourself in these yeah. people's shoes. You have people that never did anything wrong, never throw a rock at a, at a, at a army uh, vehicle, never did anything wrong, but get treated like shit. And they can yeah. get just simply shot. Um, a few months ago, there's a, a, a Palestinian American journalist that got killed like two blocks around where yeah. I grew up. Yeah, right. Shireen. And Shireen. Some, so, so, so just so the world can know, Shireen was wearing a vest that says TV, TV, TV. Yeah. And they stand face to face next to the IDF, but then they just decided to shoot her. Just because there's a, yeah. the lack of, um, um, how do you say it? Um, the lack of, of, of respect for, for, for Palestinian life from most yeah. of the IDF soldiers. I'm pretty sure there's some people that are just there because they have to do it and they really don't really want to do it. But the majority of them believe in what they do. And they think we're yeah. second-class human, that our life is not as worth as their lives. And that's messed up. And the whole world is yeah. just supporting this country. If, if Russia did what Israel is doing to Palestinians for 67 in Ukraine, Oh, you're breaking up. Sorry.